Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and welcome back to the fifth video in my mini grass series. So in this video, we're going to test uh, harvesting this field here with a forage harvester with the disc cutter head on it. So let me bring up our map here. As you can see, this is field 12 that we're gonna test on, just like we did in all of our previous videos. It's in the middle growth stage and it's fully fertilized and does not need to be plowed. So I'll bring up my hood and we'll turn on our harvester here. All right, so there's a couple of ways I can do this. Uh, I could, I'm pretty sure I can't hire a worker to do this because I'm pulling a trailer behind me. Uh, I could drive this myself using GPS mod, but I'm going to see if I can get course play to work this. Uh, I may not, but um, it's worth a try, right? So we're just going to try doing it in uh, regular field work mode on field 12. And let's dial that down a little bit. And starting at the southwest heading east. Yeah, we'll generate that course. And then let's see here, we may want to deactivate turn on field. And let's go ahead and get this thing started here. There we go. Nearest waypoint drive course. All right, there we go. Well, that's working well. So we just gotta watch this guy go then. All right, I'm gonna go grab the semi and the other trailer so that we can get ready to swap this one out when it's full. All right, I'm gonna stop this here. I have noticed there's a bit of an odd issue with these, um, this combo, in that the trailer's not totally full, but yet it also can't add anything else to it. So, I actually disconnected from the wrong thing there. There we go. All right, now we can resume this. And while that's going, I can go empty the semi. All right, well, there you have it. We have mowed the whole field and uh, we wound up with 138,289 liters of grass. That's almost 10,000 liters less than when we use the loading wagon. And I have a thought on that and part of it just is the danger of using a forage harvester. Because the way forage harvesters work is they cut it up and spit it out. They don't really care where it goes. And so in this game, if you don't have uh, the, the wagon close enough to the spout or, you know, right behind it, it's just going to cut up grass and spit it out. And it just disappears. It doesn't go anywhere, right? So with the other methods all the grass that we cut stays on the ground and then we can you know rake it and collect it or bale it or something like that and you basically get all the grass so it looks like there is a certain amount of loss with this method now the flip side of that is look at the equipment that I'm using this is it 
And really, you don't have to use a semi if you don't want to. It's just easier to run the trailers back and forth with a semi than it is with Forge Harvester because the semi goes faster. And for that particular uh, placeable mod that I'm using, the head of the Forge Harvester wouldn't fit through that unload point anyways. So, you know, the, there's significantly less equipment involved in this process. Now, the Forge Harvester and the Semi and the trailers, they are really expensive. But, uh, I mean, when you really think about it, once you add up all of the different hay equipment required to get to the point where you're doing silage, that's pretty expensive too. So, you know, I don't know. Is it worth it or not? I mean, you lose 10,000 liters on a field this size. Um, you know, that's a... It's a pretty decent amount uh, amount of loss, so uh, you know I don't know. I guess it's up to you. I I enjoy using this method, and I've used this in my let's play to mow grass, like the quote unquote free grass that you find around the edges of the fields and along the roads and things like that. Um, it's just kind of a fun way to pass time to drive around and mow grass this way. Uh, I think though, as far as making silage goes from a field like if i plant a field with grass like field 12 is uh, i'll probably stick with using the actual uh, mowers and rakes and balers and stuff like that so uh hopefully you enjoyed this episode uh if you did or found the information useful please go ahead and give it a thumbs up that helps a lot uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.